Want to see an axe that can take out a whole forest at once? Let's take a look. Hey, how's it going? And welcome to the mysterious District 42 on the CC and Sur. In the last episode, we worked on getting some power because I need a bit of a side project while I waited for something else to craft up. But between episodes, it's actually crafted up a lot more than I need, or at least I hope it has. So, let's play with some dark matter. <laughs> so, in the last episode, we were setting up this lot here, and I've put in a few energy condensers to make some other stuff as well. But probably the most important thing is what's in this one here. We have quite a bit of fuel now. So let me take some of this out. Uh, that should be enough, hopefully, for what we need to make. We'll head over here, and as you can see, I've got red matter up currently, and that'll be right, really quite easy if we can get some uh, diamonds for this. So, if we were to go over to here, and stick, I don't know, just one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, stick a stack in there. Uh, let's pull out a diamond. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We'll convert this guy into a block. Like that. And hopefully what we're doing in this episode will solve our little friend's problem over here. Who seems to be stuck right there. And it's not just one. There's multiple. This place is getting pretty scary. Uh, let's go into here though, we will learn of this guy. I don't want to put it in there because it will cost me too much money, but then we can pull out a few of these. Diamond. Oh, not enough. Okay, let me just cook up another stack, that's fine. Cool, that should be hopefully enough for what we need. Now, red matter takes uh, dark matter, free dark matter, we'll make one red matter. And what I was thinking we'll do is make the red matter sword. Which also requires that. So we're looking at uh, three, six, seven, eight uh, dark matters in order to get somewhere. Plus some material steel. So in theory it should have enough. Let's go have a play though and see. So we need to make, we're making the sword. So we need eight of these guys, so we'll go into here, we've got enough for eight, enough for nine, cool. Uh, let's leave one for three for now. And we can then go into here, we need to make up uh, two of these for the swords. Go into here, we need to make up a dark matter sword, which requires a diamond. Funny enough, I have one time block. <laughs> Go into here, make our sword like that. Put the two of those together, and we have ourselves a red matter sword. And the cool thing about this is it has multiple ways of firing. Very noisy ways of firing, but let's go into here. Let's um, see if we can solve our witchy problem over here. Doesn't seem to be doing what I what I was thinking it would. Uh, there are some various buttons you have to use to get it to do things. So I need to work out. Ah, slow all mode. Okay, so you do need to configure it up uh, in the controls. Slow hostile mode. Put it on. Look all them all. Oh, okay. There's only that one. No, that's not going to work either. I need to charge it up. I need to work out how to do that. There we go. So you can see the bar at the bottom. I have no idea what that actually does. But if I now go into here, what I have found... Look at that. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? I can do that from here. And we've got a zombie around here somewhere as well. 
So let's see if we can find him. Don't walk away. Oops. I fell in a hole. How was that? A free shot kill. I like that. Okay, so we've made this really cool red matter sword, which has brilliant attack. In fact, look at the attack damage on that. That's 20 attack damage. That's awesome. We could make some armor too. I don't know if that's got any cool effects. Hmm. Uh, but I think what we'll do is we will set up the next thing, which I thought would make one of these red matter pickaxes. Which, same again, we need a whole bunch of red matter, which requires dark matter. Uh, the dark matter, of course, is just a whole lot of turners full, plus a block of diamond. So have we got enough to make what we need? We've got 14 there. That'll be hopefully enough. Let's see. Uh, so we need one for there, one for each of these. So we need three of these. One, two, three. Uh, we'll then go into here. We need to make one of these, which, of course... One, and we will then make this guy here, which once again, similar, oh, we've got one left over. It's a similar thing, and we can press the button to power it up, which I believe I have, well, I haven't shown you how to get into where the, what controls are. Um, I have rebound my controls a little bit, so of course we go into options, into controls, scroll down, and there is a section here for Project E. Uh, it's near the bottom I believe somewhere project D here it is and of course you've got various effects now I haven't bound my armor key because I have no idea how that works I'm, I'm sure there's some cool things you can do with it though uh, and if I get the chance we might make some of that armor but you've got your change mode key which in my case I have bound to the right menu key which is the alt key the charge button I have bound to space uh, because I don't use space for jumping so I've bound it to that and you've got your extra function, which is the right shift in my case. Uh, and that is the one that will change the, that does the firing of the projectile thingy. And we've also got the delete button as well, which I haven't played with. Uh, what's that do? Nothing. Okay. Oh, wrong button. Still nothing. Do we need to have something in the area? Possibly. Um, anyway, let's uh, bind, charge this guy up. And let's go into the mining world and have a bit of a play. So we're back when I get there. Okay, so we're here in the mining world on the CCN server, and it's just a basic overworld, but it does let us get our stuff without having all the cities around. Um, so what we're going to do, though, is obviously this is a pickaxe, so attacking a dirt block won't have any effect. But let's go down a little bit. Speed of this! Holy! Wow! Okay, <laughs> it's definitely fast. Nice. Okay. So what are our other options here? So we've got the, let's put down a torch there. Collect all this stuff up. Now what do our buttons do? So our, my shift key does nothing. The alt key changes to three times tall. Oh, okay. So that's three down looks like. No, one up, down, one down. Okay, cool. I'll uh, press it again. Free wide shot. Ooh. Cool. Swing at that thing. That's cool. Free uh, long shot. Oh, okay. So that goes forward. Nice. And then standard mode. Okay, well, that's pretty cool. 
doesn't have a three by three, but still for that speed, let's see how fast we can take something out. So let's go into wide shot. And it doesn't look like the durability being used either. Not bad at all. I like that tool. Okay, well, um, it's going to make mining a little easier. But let's go play and see what else we can get. I'll catch you back at the other Okay, so we're back here again. And I was thinking, I'm sure there is a, another thing in here which is much cooler. Um, what we got here? So we've got the pick already made. We've made have we, made, we haven't made the axe yet. Let's make that. So that requires three, six, nine. A couple of diamonds there. Twelve. 13. Enough to make that. We have enough to make that. Cool. I'm not even going to bother testing these guys because I can make up to the next level. So let's go into here, make some more red matter. Uh, we've got enough for three, which is all I think we need, isn't it? Go into here, make an X. Like that. So I'm wondering what this guy does. I'm hoping it will be vine, vein miner, but to be safe, I'm going to head back to the mining world because after seeing what the pick does, I'm not really sure if I want to test this here, so I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so we're back here in the mining world, and I found a nice little area of trees here, so we can give this a good test. So let's just play around the button. So Alt does nothing. Shift. Neither shift does anything. Space. Okay, so we can power it up. Uh, what do you mean if I take it a tree? Oh, it's reasonably fast. It seems like I should be missing. Uh, I'm missing something. Um, well, uh, um, uh, uh, I right clicked. Did I pick up? Let's try it again. Let's just try it again, see if it was a fluke. So that was right click. So if we do that again up here, just is it anywhere? Oh. Wow. <laughs> nice. Cool. Now I like that. I'm glad I didn't hear though, because that would have been um, bad. It doesn't work with the reward. But still, it's pretty fast anyway, so I can't really complain on that one. Um, okay, cool. What else can we make with this? So let's go. Project E. So we made this one, we made that one. I don't really need a shovel. We made this one. Hoe. Shears. Hammer. Look at the tap. Okay, that's quite expensive, but it's got a nice stack damage. Um, you know what? I think I'm just going to leave that because that's impressive. Okay, so those are some pretty cool tools and I'm going to add those to my normal inventory because wow. Uh, but I'm going to end the episode here because I could go into the next level up which has got an awesome attack damage but it's getting quite expensive and I've running out of fuel so we might have to wait into another episode to increase it up but what i'm gonna do is end the episode here if you've enjoyed the episode or learned anything from it 
do remember to hit that like button if you're new to the channel and like what you saw, hit that subscribe button. For any questions, comments, suggestions, or just want to say, wow, those are some powerful tools, leave a comment down below. But otherwise, have a great day, and see ya!